What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. And today I'll be doing a video on Hydrogen OS. So they have released one more update of for both OnePlus 3 and OnePlus 3T. And uh, OnePlus 3T is which is uh, based on beta version 8, and OnePlus 3 is based on beta version 14. So these two updates have been re uh, rolled out by OnePlus. So to install that, you should have TWRP recovery or the stock recovery. Hydrogen ROMs are always uh, faster and quicker than uh, Oxygen OS. So let's go and uh, take a look how to install that. I have downloaded the file which I have placed it inside the internal memory. Go to the download link from the description below and download the file and place it inside the internal memory. And also download this file which I will be mentioning in the description below. This is a file which will remove all the apps, uh, Chinese apps installed on your device. So first what I do is I reboot my device to TWRP recovery. So once your device boosts to TWRP recovery, what I do is I normally do a complete wipe, but in this I'm not doing a complete wipe or any factory reset. Uh, I just go to install and select the Hydrogen OS, uh, which is the latest beta version. So I swipe to flash and I'll wait for this to get completed. Once completed, we'll again reboot the device and check what are the changes uh, available in this. So once the process completes uh, properly and you get a success message over here, you do one thing guys, don't flash this um, debloader file as of now because first uh, what we'll do is we'll complete the initial setup and then flash this file because many times I have uh, faced issues if you flash this file and after that you uh, boot your device and complete the initial setup, you are not able to bypass the initial setup so you have to again reflash the uh, ROM. So now what we'll do is we'll just reboot a device. And once device reboots, so what we'll do is uh, we'll com uh, complete the initial setup and after that we'll go to recovery and again flash the debloader file which will remove all the Chinese app from the system. So we just reboot the device. So you can see your device uh, boots up properly. I have uh, lots of Chinese app pre-installed on this. What we'll do is we'll again reboot the device to recovery and we'll flash the debloader file. So now we are again in TWRP recovery. So what I'll do is I'll flash that debloader file which will remove uh, all the Chinese apps. So just swipe to flash. And once it is done, just reboot your system. Nothing else, guys. So now we don't have any of the uh, Chinese app installed on this. So we'll be taking a look at what are the new features included in this. So after the installation process is completed, we just go to settings and I'll show you a few details uh, on this software. So you can see it is an Hydrogen OS beta open beta version 14 and you can also see they have upgraded the security patch uh, for this room and now which is uh, may security patch which was which has been updated so guys uh, there are few features which they have included in this so uh, that i'll be telling you and before that uh, i would like to also tell you if you guys want to install google apps you need to check out the other video which i mentioned in the description below so let's go and take a uh, look at what are the new features which they have added. So they have added a new feature like if you pick up your phone, it uh, automatically lights up, screen comes up, which will be displaying the notification and the time. So I'll just show you guys. I have enabled it. I go to display first and in this, for that I have to enable ambient display. And if you enable ambient display, you get an option to enable lift up display. Six screen when you pick up the phone. So this is the feature which they have added and it's a new one in this. So I just switch off uh, ambient display and show you that uh, this option gets uh, disabled automatically. So you have to enable ambient display and then you will be able to enable lift up display. So in this I will just show you I power off the device and keep it. And you can see uh, the date time and if you have any notifications available you will be able to see the same thing on display so next thing they have uh, added is they have added a, a new font in this so uh, to check this i'll go back and uh, let me check the font where it is available so you can see it is under customization option so under customization you have fonts and in this you have an option of oneplus slate so they have added oneplus slate and uh, you can select this they say that uh, it gives you a better uh, text display so these two things have been added uh, in this update and these are the new things which they have added so let's go to uh, the next section where they say they have updated few things so they say they have updated uh, 
short on oneplus support sharing so oneplus uh, short on oneplus wallpapers can now be shared so if you click here short on uh, oneplus and if you select any of these wallpapers you get an option to share this wallpaper from here directly this is the thing which they have updated in this uh, room so after this they say recorder notes cards coupon weather calendar file manager which are updated app became the new design so uh, they say few apps have been uh, updated and they have got the new design this one i can't see any new design in this app but in uh, file manager you can see they have updated this and you have now a storage and cap uh, categories towards the left hand side before it was half uh, category was on the left side and the storage was towards the right side so these two things they have uh, changed in this and uh, next they say optimized from the sim card um, import contacts interface supports two numbers and mailbox display okay this is something related to contacts which i have to add my google account so now once the google account has been added i'll be able to show you and uh, i'll update that on my uh, facebook account so next in updates only they say that uh, make domestic numbers when roaming abroad can automatically add the country code so if you uh, are uh, traveling abroad or uh, you are out of country if you dial your number you automatically get the country code and the next uh, last thing in update they say updated the built-in browser and input i think they had enabled a built-in uh, browser which i was not able to see because uh, it's a hydrogen os and they uh, must be having a chinese uh, browser so i had uh, flashed the debloater app to remove all the chinese app so that's the reason i am not able to see here and next they have uh, in systems they say uh, further optimize the speed of open applications so they have just op optimized the speed of the open applications so if the application is open i think uh, it is more quicker uh, but you won't be able to feel the changes as of um, in this because these are minor changes which they update optimize front and back processing management so that is also something related to software which is uh, which they have optimized and that can only be uh, felt after using the device and the last one is they have updated the security patch which i have told you before in the video so these things are uh, change changes available in this hydrogen os so soon we'll be getting uh, uh, roam on uh, oxygen os also so guys stay tuned for this and uh, so that's all in this video guys uh, if you like the video do give a, do give me a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel um, do subscribe to channel thanks for watching have a great day ahead